All right, so welcome back to the One Class channel. Again, my name is Joey. I'm going to be your chemistry teacher for this session. What we're doing here at One Class is we're going through this process of verifying solutions for frequently asked problems in mathematics and in chemistry. So what we have here is at One Class is we kind of we group together a bunch of questions in both mathematics and chemistry in the secondary school level as well as in the college and university level. And what I, I'm doing now is I'm verifying these solutions. So I'm going to go through, um, so in this live stream of about an hour, I'm going to go through some of these frequently asked problems and I'm going to answer those questions. So hopefully um, uh, you uh, viewers at home or you students at home will be able to kind of walk through that process with me as well. I'll be able to teach you the concept uh, through the question and you'll be able to have the best solutions moving forward. Again, my name is Joey. I'm currently a uh, secondary school teacher in Ontario and a teacher at one class and my subjects of interest are chemistry and mathematics. So uh, without further ado, I have uh, 10 problems for us today, um, ranging uh, anywhere from grade nine to about grade 12 chemistry. And I'll be able to answer these questions for you today. So let's get started on today's problems. All right, our first problem here is, says this. So it says calculate the acid dissociation constant of a weak monoprotic acid if a 0.5 molar solution of this acid gives a hydrogen ion concentration of 0.00001 molar. So how do we do this problem? Well, let's. what we wanna do is we wanna first write out the chemical uh, equation for this guy here. So. Um, it says here, we, well, we don't have specifically a chemical equation, but we have a weak monoprotic acid. So we can assume that we have some type of HA here, and we have, and it's going to dissociate into its hydronium ion. So we can say HA plus H2O. It's going to be in equilibrium with, and once obviously if we have a weak acid, it's going to dissociate into its hydronium ion, right? So I'm going to lose the hydrogen here and get my conjugate base here. So uh, this here is my um, my formal chemical equation here. Again, I have HA as the weak monoprotic acid. I, it's in water as a solution. I'm going to give up one of these, these, it's going to donate one of these hydrogens to the water to make hydronium ions, which is a plus, H plus. And then I have A minus as well as my conjugate base. So uh, what we want to do is we have some type of initial concentration and we want to calculate the acid dissociation constant. So what is that? Well, that's simply our Ka of our expression, right? That's the Ka of uh, this formula here. So let me write down. We want to find out our Ka, right? So in order for us to do that, well, we want to create an ice table because we know this is in equilibrium. We have our initial concentration, so we're going to create an ice table. And how we're ha and let's write down our ice table. And what we have is I, I stable stands for initial concentration and equilibrium. Well, we have a 0.5 molar of solution of acid here. So we can say that initially our the concentration of our um, weak monoprotic acid is 0.5 molars. So you can write 0.5. We don't care about the water in this case here. The water, we can kind of X out that entire column because water um, water here is um, is our, in, our, in our solution and water is a special you can think of it as a special compound that doesn't uh contribute to my uh equilibrium constant here uh, and we're for starting initially obviously we have zero hydronium ions and zero conjugate base right and then it, during uh um and then when we do our change in equilibrium we're going to get some type of minus x here and then we're going to get plus x and plus x as well. I'm going to gain product, then I'm going to lose some reactants, right? So hence why this is the minus sign, and once hence why this is the positive sign. And the at equilibrium, I'm going to have 0 0.5 minus x, and I have positive x here and plus x here. And now what we can do is we can actually set up our Ka expression, right? We can say our Ka is equal, simply equal to our products, concentration of products over our reactants, right? So we can say we have H3O plus, times a minus here divided by all divided by h a and the reason again why we don't put water as our concentration here is because water here is in liquid form and it does not contribute to our uh, equilibrium expression so do we have the tools to solve this well we do right because it gives us 0 0.5 solution of our acid but it also gives us a hydrogen ion concentration of 0 0.0001 which means our concentration of the uh, hydronium ion is 0 0.0001 so our x here is going to be 0 0.0001. So we can say 
that this guy here is 0 0.0001 molar, which means if this guy is our x here, this guy has to be also my x as well. So this guy would have to be 0 0.0001. And then this minus x would be simply whatever 0 0.5 minus that is, right? So let's let's write that down. So let's see, let's do... So let me substitute these guys first. So hydronium, which is x, times a minus, which is x, divided by ha, which is 0 0.5 minus x. And then I can say that um, my x here is going to equal, or the concentration of our hydronium at equilibrium is 0 0.0001, right? So I can say that my ka is equal to 0 0.0001 times 0 0.0001 divided by 0 0.5 minus 0 0.0001. And this here, after I do this math here, it will give us our equilibrium expression for Ka. So all I'm gonna have to do is simply just some calculator work. So let me type that into the calculator for you. So I have 0 0.00001 squared, because I'm multiplying it by itself. I'm gonna get uh, 1.1 1 .1 times 10 to the eight negative 8 here, sorry, and then I have 0 0.5 minus 0 0.0001, and we're going to get 0 0.444999. So simply just get to think of it as multiplying by 2 here. So I have 1 times 10 to the 8, or negative 8, sorry, divided by, sorry, divided by 0 0.4999. This will give us a value of 2.00 times 10 to the negative 8. Now this here is our Ka expression for our answer here. And in terms of significant digits, if we're looking at this guy here, I have one significant digit here and four here. So I would follow the first guy here, which means our answer specifically should be 2 times 10 to the negative 8. So this here is our answer. And as you can see, this answer matches the given solution. So the solution here is correct.